tears. You do? Go for it. Chance. I see one. You see it? Taste is gamey. Once you get it all washed off, you then cut it into little squares where it's small enough that you can wrap bacon around it, but still big enough that you can fill it with cream cheese. Good size is probably about that right there. So for the marination process, the first thing we're gonna do is put Worcestershire sauce on it. The second thing we're gonna do is add pepper to it. Just want to sprinkle. Then we add the salt. And then last we add the meat to marinate. Once you get all the marination on there, you've got to flip each side over so you can do the other side. So he's adding the Worcestershire sauce to the second batch. This is his first time to ever attempt cooking this. <laughs> so if it doesn't taste very good, we can always Always blame my little brother. Time for the pepper. You're doing that like you're a professional. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Learning from the best, huh? Mm -hmm. He's now adding the salt to it. So the last part of the marination process is adding Italian dressing. And what you want to do when you add this is add it all the way until it's above as you can see, you filled it up above the deer steak, and you just kind of shake it up. Make sure it's all mixed in there good. Make sure it's above. And then we're going to let this sit in the refrigerator for two to three days and marinate before we start to cook it. Now it's going to sit in here. Until it's time Step to cook. of the cooking process, I'm not going to be able to take a video of that and show you guys how that's done. But basically, after two to three days of marination, you take it out. You can either put it in the oven or you can grill it on the grill. And so the way I prefer it is to grill it. And when you grill it, it just kind of leaves a more gamey taste to it, to the meat. And uh, if you put it in the oven, it takes away that gamey taste. I'm not sure why that is, but it just kind of makes it taste more like a meat that you would pick up from a grocery store. So with that said, after you do all that and cook it up, you can either put cream cheese in between it, you wrap it up in bacon, and then you can also decide to put jalapenos on it or not. And so... After all that's done, it's time to eat. And uh, so now that's kind of been discussed how to create this, create this food. I'm, I'm gonna talk a little bit about the heritage behind it. And with this meal and really any meal in my family, there's not much heritage behind why we cook meals or why we do it. A lot of times we get caught up in everyday life, especially when I was in high school. I had two little brothers constantly playing sports, so were my little brothers, so we were on the go, on the go, so if we had a home-cooked meal, we were, we were pretty lucky that night, but um, just with that said, like, nothing was really passed down through our family, I really can't think of a meal that was just passed down from generation to generation that we continually cook that has been passed down for us, but um, this has kind of created its own little heritage for my family, I guess. My family never hunted, never hunted before I had uh, grown up around age 11, I guess, the first time I ever went hunting with my dad. I just randomly wanted to go hunting one day, and we dropped everything, he took me to go hunting, we bought all the stuff, and from there it's kind of turned into this family tradition that we do, 
every fall, every winter, we're, we're out hunting and the deer was together. And from that, we've kind of created our own heritage in a sense. So that's something I'd like to pass down to my kids. It's just the tradition and the bond that are shared while you're out there hunting. Like you don't get closer to somebody than having to sit beside them for three, four, five hours out there on a deer stand in the freezing cold. Nothing else to do besides talk to one another. So it really does bring you closer. And there's times where like shooting your first deer, shooting your first buck, like that's something a father and son share in a bond. It's really just like any other bond between a father and son. But it's something that you'll never forget. It creates memories that will last a lifetime. And like even just now that I got my little brother, as y'all saw in the beginning of the video, like he's all about going hunting with us, whether or not it's a real deer or not. It's all about just the experience of being with each other. Just being out in the woods, being out in the wilderness, it's something that you don't get to typically enjoy every day. And it just makes us rely a little bit more on each other while we're out there. So it's something that has definitely become a part of my family. It's become something that we've done annually the past six, seven years, however long we've been going at it. And so that's something I would like to continue to pass down to my kids. So in a sense, we have created our own heritage. I